Hello? I'm just getting set up here. Let's see if I can see myself on Facebook. I am not seeing me streaming live. Okay, now I see something that said I was streaming live. Let's see if I can go home. There I am. Okay. I'm hoping that I can see um, my resources and I am not seeing comments. So if I don't see your comments right now, I will see them shortly. Okay. So what we are going to do today, I'm Francine Wilson, and I'm with Stamp Scrap Go, and I'm going to show you the You Are Amazing kit. The mini catalog starts in four days. That is the spring mini catalog, and um, let me get us set up here so that I can uh, right there maybe okay so I'm going to switch you down to my desktop and here we go so now what you can see here is the mini catalog I can't show you the inside of it um, but it starts on the 5th and everybody will be able to order on the 5th. So you're going to see this amazing kit and if you order $50 or $100, there is the celebration um, promotion that we are doing now and the celebration is going to just be January and February this year because we're going to do it a second time in July. So more fun, free things. So for every $50 that you spend out of the annual or the mini spring catalog, you get to pick a free item out of the celebration catalog and by now you should have yours at this point so I'm going to go ahead and remove that and we are going to go to the you are amazing kit let me see if I can I don't see my let me try and get this a little closer There we go. All right. And if you use your, if you use my January host code, then you will receive a little gift from me in addition to your $50 free gift from Celebration. So this kit comes with everything you need in this pretty box. Everything you need to create 16 cards and envelopes. So I've got 12 cards in here because I have four of them pulled out. So I'm going to show you how to make four of them. So, and you get this wonderful little box to store your cards in. This is 
the brochure that comes with it and it shows you how to make the cards okay so and you will get all of these fun embellishments including a roll of granny apple green um, and white twine you'll get everything you need there's some vellum there's banners there's um, pretty peacock blue backgrounds and um, all kinds of fun stuff there's labels there's more vellum so you're going to get all kinds of fun things there's even some gold banners okay so let's get started with card number one but before i do that i want to show you how to now this kit does not include the stamp set but together the kit and the stamp set will give you your $50 purchase so that you can pick something out of your celebration. But first I want to show you how to attach your stamps. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this one off and I'm going to put all of that aside. And what I do is I put it on my hand first. It kind of takes a little bit of the stickiness off. And then you peel back. The stickers. And you do need a little pair of tweezers for that because they're a little tight. Okay. So then what you do is find which way your um, oh goodness you probably can't see that very well let's see there you go there you go okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my head in this but you're going to line everything up And then you're just going to stamp down. And there you have it. It's attached and it's perfectly attached. So you don't have to worry about different, you know, running away with your stuff. Okay. So the four inks that we're going to use are Mango Melody, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, and Pretty Peacock. Okay, and it does give you the suggestion of which inks to use on which cards. So let's start with card number one. So I have all the pieces parts out here. And I have the stamp already loaded. So we're going to use Pretty Peacock to stamp the sentiment. Okay. And because these are red rubber, you don't need your piercing pad. Okay, so that is card number one. And I'm going to close that up so I don't get my fingers in it. I'm going to supply my own adhesive. This is Seal. It's our new well, it's relatively new. I'm going to adhere that. And this strip gets adhered to the card at the center. 
Now you can put it anywhere you want. And actually, I think I'm going to go left of center. Because I like it that way. Now, with vellum, you have to make sure that it is that your adhesive is under your um, sentiment or your uh, embellishment, okay? Because vellum will show your adhesive. So All right, so I'm going to do this a little off center. So the card shows it just a, a hair off center, but I'm doing it. My, I'm going rogue. Okay, I'm going rogue. All right, so it calls for some twine and we will put this twine on here and tie it up so you're gonna need your ribbon it scissors and okay long fingernails are not the best for tying ribbons or bows so I'm just gonna do bunny um, bunny ears and twist them I'm not gonna tie it around oh my goodness even long fingernails are not very good for this either that's what that's what your, um, oh my goodness, how did I get that? I got a knot. Got to get that out of there. I don't know how that happened. You know what? Let's just do another one. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little shaky. I haven't done lives in quite a while, so a little nervous. There we go. All right, so I'm going to hold this and Turn this, get my loops all straightened out. Well, evidently I didn't pull it properly because my loop is twisty. All right, so I'm going to cut that off and I am going to use a glue dot. Yep, I better get some out. And I'm going to use glue dots from my paper pumpkin kits that I save all of the extras that we get. But first I need to put some dimensionals on my sentiment so that I know where to place my bow. Honestly, the hard, hardest part is tying the, the little bow. So like I said, I've gone rogue. I have tried to create my own little 
card based on the card that they show. Okay, let's see, why is that not coming up? <laughs> Chasing it around. All right, so I'm actually going to place my glue dot right here. And if I can flick off the cover, cover, there we go. And then place my bow right on the corner. So that's card number one. Okay. Not too bad, not too hard, not too difficult. All right, let's see, card number two. You are amazing. So this is hip hip hooray, three cheers for you. That can be a birthday, that can be a retirement, that can be an anniversary card, you name it, it can be anything you want. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that aside and get card number two out here. And let's see, you are amazing in Flirty Flamingo. And this one's going to be a horizontal card. I give it just a few seconds so that the ink has time to penetrate the paper. Okay, so that's Flirty Flamingo. And this gets attached to this beautiful punch out. Wow, this is a bigger, I must have chosen the wrong. Oh, let me go look. Yep, there's a smaller one. You know what, I'll do the You Are Amazing on, I'll do this one on another card. Let's try that again. See, nothing is <laughs> super simple. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to set that so that it is equally all the way around. And we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. I'm hoping you can see everything. Okay, and this gets attached to the card itself. So we're going to just put some adhesive on here and we're going to center it. And then again, we, we are using the um, twine, but it's wrapped around. Let's see if I can do this. Let's wrap it around and tie. A knot. I like to tie a knot so that it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and then I am going to cut that off and hopefully have enough 
to make my bow. And yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my loop and pull on this string so it can make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one and move this over. Okay, and so this is going to go on here. And we are going to just put some adhesive there. Oh, you know what? We should probably put a little adhesive on that so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm going to center that. And then I'm going to clip my strings. And one, two, three. Card number two. You are amazing. That can go to a friend, a family member, just anybody that um, you think is amazing. All right, that's card number two. All right, card number three. That is the happy birthday card. All right. We're going to, I had these in the wrong order evidently whenever I put them down. So you really don't need your bone folder. I thought I had it out for a reason, but you know, don't need it. All right, so this is going to be stamped in Mango Melody. And it is happy birthday. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay. And you do have this speaker kind of like window that you can stamp with a lighter color if you like, and then stamp your happy birthday on in a darker color. So you, you do have that option. All right, so dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. Okay, and we are going to, I am not going to do this whole tag thing, okay? That just looks, if you can see, let me see. It's all wrapped around that and then tied in a bow. I don't think I can do that. So, not happening. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our adhesive on and we're going to center this on the card. And then we're going to put some more adhesive. Oh, I got, sometimes this thing does not want to work. Okay. And what we'll do is put this right here in the center. See, these are quick and easy cards. And then we will cut a piece of this off. And where are my tweezers? And what we'll do is we'll make it like a real tag. 
And then we'll just tie a little knot down there at the base so it doesn't go anywhere. Holding my finger there so that the knot is where I want it to be. And there you have card number three. A little easier than tying a bow. And it looks like a tag. Now that, of course, says happy birthday. So yeah, anything you want. All right, card number four is a thank you card. And this one is, again, really super simple. We're going to just put some adhesive in the corners. Center this on the card. This is going to have like a quarter inch all the way around. Well, maybe a little smaller. And then you have a couple of circles. And you can just put those on. Right here and right there. And then we're going to stamp thanks in granny apple green. I'm like, I'm off camera. Give it a second. And there you have it. Some dimensionals, of course. And these are dimensionals that came in my paper pumpkin kit. And if you don't know what paper pumpkin is, it is a kit that comes once a month. It's $22, has everything you need, including adhesive in the kit so that you can make projects and cards so and you can see I get a lot of extra adhesive you know I mean they they send glue dots they send um, they even had in one of them tear and tape so all right so that's card number four and I will show you all the cards again. One, two, three, and four. And we'll get my mic out of the way. And as you can tell, this one had no <laughs> twine on it, so. All right, let's see if I can get you closer. And there you have it. So uh, let me get this out of the way. There we go. Um, if you use my December or my January host code and you order this kit, you will receive a little something from me. Um, usually it's some kind of a bling. And this kit. If you buy the stamp set and the kit, it will become, comes to 50, let me see, 51 dollars. So you're over your 50 dollars. Thank you for joining me. Um, let's see. Thank you for joining me and hopefully I am going to be doing this on every Friday at two o'clock. We'll have some kind of a kit or some kind of card going on and hopefully um, everything will work out. The only weekend that I will not be on is 
because I will be on a retreat the 15th. So I will see you here next Saturday or next Friday at two o'clock. Thank you for joining me. Y'all have a wonderful day.